Boom! Hey guys, it's Anoxium and today we're going to be playing uh, Fallout New Vegas Quest mod, which has been a very long time in the making. A very long time, it's been in the making since the 19th century. It has come, the prophecy has come true, and in July the 3rd, Beyond Boulder Dome has finally been released. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Beyond Boulder Dome, Beyond Boulder Dome has been loaded. To begin with, follow the new quest, taking the bait, level 20 or above players recommended. Okay, let's do this, okay. So, let's get started. Now let's just, okay, let's, uh... Guys, our frame rate's pretty poor. Let's do this again. Oh, okay, we're it's better now. Okay. Okay, so let's. Uh, oh my god. So yeah, um, this is a mod being like a, a year in the making, and so some of you probably searched for this and sort of realized that uh, this is not the mod. Obviously, this is some looking people. Uh, so let's look, take a look at our quest. Uh, after we've killed the Legion people, taking the bait. Okay, so look for work in the Old Moment Fort, so let's go there. Okay, let's move up there. And let's start the first step of this quest, shall we? Uh, now, this is like... Uh, is there enemies nearby? Fantastic. Let's delay, let's delay this even for... Gavin. Who's the name? Oh, Gavin. Warm up before we start this big main large DLC size quest. Amazing. Okay, so what we do. Oh. Yeah, I'm a prick. Okay, so what I do know is that there won't be little, uh, companions uh, involved, so we'll talk to Veronica What's and Vertigo. Uh, can you fuck off, please? What? Okay, then I guess I'll be back. Yeah, bye. Okay, so let's go to this. Uh, the first step of this huge, huge mod. Now, uh, as I can see, it's like um, it's the largest Fallout mod ever attempted. Uh, I believe it's several hours long of side quests and main quests, and will be you'll be seeing me uh, do a playthrough of the entire thing, or what I can be bothered doing. Um, so yes. I've been watching the mod for like a year now, uh, ever since, it's actually been a year since uh, the guy who made it first intended to make it, and lo and behold there's lots of people that attempt things like these and they never get off the ground, but lo and behold this is pulled through and I can't wait to see through, but uh, in the meantime we're going to be sitting here for, you know, about 100 years or so, watching uh, the loading screen. Oh, guess not. So, uh, we're going to go to the old one of another amazing loading screen. See, I've got the nine millimeter submachine gun, which uh, have all the with all the critical perks and all the perks associated with it. You can uh, watch your frame rate drop. Uh, no, uh, you can pretty much shred uh, enemies in no armor pretty easily. So you solve those legion people, I shred right through them. So uh, I think in this mod you'll be able to take all your weapons with you. So that will be uh, pretty good. Hello. So yeah, let's go in here. I would do this thing. In rhythm of life, it's a powerful beat, and the loading screen never load. It's a beat. Oh. I'm doing quite well. I'm really surprised. Okay, so what do we what do we look for here? We're going to look for ah, white rabbit. Okay, can I, do you want me to look at this? You weapons, sir. Weapon test wanted. The risk is minor, but the rewards are great. 
will pay in food and caps to apply a report to Dr. Fabler in the labs of the old mobile base crawler in the Nellis airplane graveyard. Enter the graveyard through the drainage tunnels and avoid the locals. You've got to love a guy who says travel by drainage tunnels. This guy is considerate as fuck. Okay, so where are we going to go? Can I just, can I just, uh, what's the, I can barely, uh, can you, can you just, what's the word? Fast travel out of this place? I'm pretty sure you can. Oh. Um, there's no there's death claws there on so let's go here. There's probably death claws here, aren't there? I'm so glad, you're probably wondering now why I'm watching 50 minutes of this guy seeing th uh, doing things I've already seen. Oh, you notice this young woman with piercing eyes checking her pocket watch and heading somewhere in a hurry, and uh, you missed the second thing. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So, let's just take a look at what I missed. West, uh, White Rabbit, was it? White Rabbit, where is it? White Rabbit's done. You notice this young woman with Okay, uh, the young woman with piercing eyes has vanished somewhere and is nowhere to find. Cool. So, you gotta love the Alice in Wonderland references. It really, really adds to Fallout. <clears throat> okay, so let's find where we're going. You think that would be new, but it's not new. I don't think it is new. Let me just check. It'd be cool if that was new, because it'd be like, you know, oh, it's like a sort of um, opening to something new. But it's not. Obviously, it's yeah, for your last I've Never seen that before. But uh, yeah. So yeah, this is this is basically the entirety of the mod, really. Beyond Boulder Dome is just uh, <coughs> traveling and chasing uh, map markers and quest markers all over the map. There isn't there isn't a new DLC. There isn't uh, any lands. You've all been punked. There's Beyond Boulder Dome doesn't exist. This is the biggest punked ever, and I'm I'm involved really. It all it's just this, I'm I'm going to pick up a Rick Rolls. Uh, what's his name? Rick Astley um, soundtrack over this right now. Um, you're all fools for thinking that there was actually a mod. Um, I'm just following a map marker and just to see how long you're going to keep watching me follow this map marker which is just arbitrarily pasted nowhere. I've never seen this place before, where is it? I've never seen this place before. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just following this map marker. Doesn't, there's nothing actually exists. There's no, there's no mod or anything like that. There's, I'm involved in it all. I'm just, this is basic, man. This is going to go up in the mod page. Um, you know, I don't want to it. On the mod page, and it's going to be like, you know, because I'm, I'm involved in the joke. Um, and that's that's basically it. It's just it's just things popping up on the screen, and and uh, and this thing as well, and the strain pipe here. It may not be here before, but it's not real, and there's no there's no entry here. And it makes noises. Surrogate hint of that. No, the game's just gonna crash. The video's gonna crash. It's just gonna end. And I think you are, and we're never gonna let you go. And we're around to pet you. I don't know the words of the song. I got feedback in my microphone. Yeah, I can hear it in my microphone. Do 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 do. do. I don't want this whole thing to be Say it. Say it. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully that's in. I'm never gonna let you go. Oh my God. Hey, you! I need to talk to- Oh, wow. What the hell is wrong with your face? Why What's are wrong you with your face? smooth like that? That's so... Wow, that's really weird. Okay. Is that a rocket on your shoulder or you just happy to see me? Okay. Do you need something? Oh, right. Uh, well, listen. Our captain saw you and he wants well, to have a word with you right away. I would come with me if I were you. He gets mad easily. Uh, tell him surely the well, way- Well, that's a relief. I was worried you might argue with me or something like that. Come on, just follow me and we'll be there in no time, alright? Okay. That's right, run. Run so I can catch you. War's a funny thing. Christ. You gotta love, uh, these. Where's Boulder Dome? Why is the signal? Oh, amazing. Oh, you're the one from the outside, the one of my scouts saw. Wandering around a war zone like some kind of damn fool. What were you thinking? 
Uh, like Never mind. Business. I don't have time to listen to a civilian's boring tale about wandering around. We've got a war to win, and you're gonna help us win it. Who? As you know, we're a bore of those commie reds, the Chinese. Didn't know that. We've been fighting them forever now, and even when our plans crashed, we kept at planes it. crashed? Do you see our faces and bodies? Just sexy. It must be some kind of trick from one of their red experiments. What about their blue experiments? Damn Chinese bastards. We're gonna get them. It's been utter and total hell out there. Why, just the other day I had to go out and kill ten Chinese assassins with nothing but my teeth and... What? Um, sir, I don't really think that lying to our guests is going to help our rather delicate situation delicate regarding situation. end in this conflict easily. End this conflict? This conflict isn't going to end until every last one of them is dead. I didn't crawl on my hands and knees in a minefield, just... Sir, neither side has mines in their supply, sir. You never crawled through a minefield on your hands and knees like that. I'd, I'd remember that. Oh my god, I'm sick. Well, clearly your memory isn't working very well now, is it, Pierce? My neck hurts. Did you forget when I used to start in can to strangle one of them in seconds? Yeah. Um, hello? Sir, I really think you need to tell this outsider what you want to do before he gets annoyed and leaves this place. Yeah. I, for one, think that we should... No one cares about what you think we should do, Pierce. Now stand down while I explain to this outsider what I need him to do I before he leaves I had us. A microphone. All right, outsider. I need your help with a delicate situation that I've got right now. Thanks to my heroism on the battlefield, we managed to... Oh dear, here we go again. Sir, it's not really heroic to strike a surrendering soldier in the head with a butt of your gun. Quite the opposite. Will you shut up, Pierce? I'm trying to have a discussion with the outsider and your prattling is ruining it. Now go over there and shut up. As you can see, outsider, some of my men are less than dedicated to their country. I would have them all shot if I could, but I need them alive. Either way, because of my heroic deeds on the battlefield, we were able to catch the slitty-eyed leader of those chinks during a raid. Racist? Okay, uh, congratulations. Congratulations. Why, thank you, outsider. At least someone here understands the sacrifices I've been making around here for the American people's homes and families. Okay, can I go just... Can I... I'll just pretend you didn't say that for now. I don't need to deal with any more spineless men. This is America. We kill our enemies first. Amazing. Where do I fit in then? So what I need from you is really simple when you think about it, outsider. I can't order his execution, but you can, and then they can't defy me. You're an outsider. If you make a show of investigating and they give the order to kill him, they can't blame me for it and argue. It's perfect. Think of it as being conscripted with a very important military position to help rid your country of communist scum from the face of the earth. Um, you got yourself a deal. Excellent. You can talk to him if you want, but he only speaks his weird language to me. Okay. Alright, um, it's frame rate. Frame rate's reasonably okay. I had to lower the details on the settings because uh, it was a bit, a bit jumpy. Also, I had to delete a lot of hard disk space as well. But, um, yeah. Let's talk to this Pierce guy. Finally, now that idiot hero is gone, we can talk like civilized human beings. Although I doubt I can count myself as one anymore now, can I? I don't know. It's like the cast of fucking MASH. You kinda called ghouls now. Ghouls? Well, I suppose it's better than zombie or uh, un undead, right? Well, now there's a name for what we are now at least, right? I don't know. If I made a drop now. I need to talk to you about what Eli wants you to do. He's not in the right state of mind anymore, and, and to be honest... You don't want to do it once? Well, that's the short answer, yes. I still want you to investigate if you wish, but if you choose not to kill him, that would be the best for us. I'm listening. Eli never even captured the poor man. He walked up to him and Eli just beat him nearly to death with his rifle. I had to stop him from killing him. No one wants to be here anymore. Neither side has been actually fighting, if you could tell. We've just been shooting slightly away from the others. Eli doesn't understand that neither side wants to be involved in this war anymore. He thinks that the world is still the same out there, but it's not. We just want to leave this place and explore this new world we live in. But we can't because Eli won't let us leave this stupid place. He's stubborn. But there's one other issue. 
Then we need your help. We want to leave, but we need to make sure the Chinese won't attack.